Hi, we're going to do some Tong Ren for accumulation in the abdomen. So maybe you've got some fullness, maybe you've got some distension, uh, some fluid accumulation, some food accumulation. Let's see if we can get the energy going in that area and, and get things cleared out and balanced. So we always start with Triple Warmer 1617, waking up the clean out crew. We want to clean out all the detritus and Triple Warmer 20, the deep cleaning crew. Triple Warmer 16, 17, 20, both sides. We want to clean out what's no longer needed. We want to take out the trash and then there's room for the new stuff and the stuff that we want. So we're going to open up, clean out Triple Warmer 16, 17, and 20. And while we're here on the side of the neck, small intestine 16 and small intestine 17 uh, opening up any kind of tension in this area in the neck area for enhanced communication between head and body so you want good blood flow you want good uh, neurological communication so small intestine 16 17 both sides and yeah, open up the neck, deep muscles, and C1, C2 in the spirit of opening up, C1 especially. C1 is the first vertebrae after the skull, so right in the back, right where your neck bones meet your head bone. So transition points are often the areas where things get stopped up. So we're opening up C1, C2. Good flow between the head and the body. And we're going to continue on with the head office, as I like to call it. We're going to work on the back of the head at governing vessel 17 and bladder 9. Bladder 9 is either side of governing vessel 17. Uh, this point, governing vessel 17, I believe it's known as Jade Pillow. So think about this area. This is where your head touches the pillow. And this is right over your deep primal brain. All autonomic processes, very fundamental, um, just animal living processes uh, are governed here. And a little governing vessel 18, just a little bit higher up on the head. Um, this is all primal brain. We want that regulation happening as good as it can. And GV20 by Hui, 100 meetings, right on the top of the head. Um, some people say this is where the seventh chakra is. It's a very important point. It's uh, where we receive yang, um, the ambient yang from above. So we want to add a little yang to the system because if there's a sluggishness, something's not moving and we get accumulations. So bringing in a little yang, opening up the skylight. Sometimes we let out the steam here too. And on the front of the neck, right in here, large intestine 18, both sides. So we're opening up uh, stimulating the cranial nerve, the vagus nerve. This is the tenth cranial nerve, if I'm not mistaken. And this wandering nerve, vagus or vagal nerve, uh, goes all through the body, through the torso, uh, connecting uh, the brain, the throat, the heart, the stomach, the uterus, and on down, so you've got the whole torso covered. So we want this integrative nerve to be activated. This is a big part of Tong Ren, is also mobilizing the neurological system. So we've got that. Also with this point here, we get good oxygenation. So we want the um, free radicals to be oxidized and taken away. So, um, 
connecting to the abdomen, connecting to the hara here. And a little bit of stomach 10 right, right in here. More of same, just a little extra point right there. A little dab will do you. And let's move to the back. Thoracic T123, so important for immunity. Uh, good circulation. Uh, also with T3, we're starting to open the lungs. So we're getting that good oxygenation, good circulation, good gas exchange. So we're trying to help the body be the best that it can to run optimally. So one, two, three, T one, two, three. And a little T five for the heart. Now I'm pulling this in here. You might say, why why with the Hara? Well, they both start with H, but that's not the reason. Um, the heart is the epitome of fire in the body. And we want to balance yin and yang, fire and water. So we're going to balance water a little later on. But uh, this is going to help the yang to move. So we all know that heart is good circulation. So we get everything circulating around the body and the vitality brought back in. So this is T5. T6, the diaphragm, good oxygenation, fullness in breathing, the um, thoracic area opening up the best it can Tidal volume in the lung is increased. Gas exchange. Oxygen is picked up. Trash is taken out. T6. T7 on the right. I'm sorry, T7 on the left. We're going to go left first. So this is um, opening up the spleen. Now the spleen in Chinese medicine is involved with transformation. So if we've got uh, accumulations, we want the body to be able to per, um, metabolize. So if it's fluid, to metabolize the fluid. If it's food, to metabolize the food, to transform these things and move them along the way they should be. So that's T7 on the left for the spleen. And T7 on the right is for circulation of abdominal blood, hara blood. So again, we're opening up good circulation in the area of interest. And T9 on the right. So T9 on the right is for liver. Liver function, liver um, is involved in all good circulation of chi and blood in the body. It's not the only system that does that, but it's a really good one for doing it. So T9, liver on the right. And down to L2, lumbar 2, the second lumbar vertebrae. So I was talking about fire and water balance, yin and yang, archetypical yin and yang in the body. L2 stimulates the kidneys. Um, epitome of water in the body. So if we've got uh, fluid accumulation. Let's get this fluid, fluid moved out and a good way to do that is through the kidneys. So just let it all drain out. Let them do their thing. Excellent. And L4 for the lower body. So we want to cover the whole hara. We've done kind of the upper part of the hara or the upper part of the abdomen with the you know, T7, T9 area, uh, you know, everything below the diaphragm. And this L4 is going to help the lower abdomen, the lower hara, open up. So we're opening up the front from the back. And again, since we've worked the spine here, we're opening up and mobilizing the neurological system. Okay, let's move around to the front. And... So I'm going to do a little CV-17 right in the center of the chest. So this opens the upper burner. So the three burners in Chinese medicine, the three burning spaces, the three heaters, the triple warmer, 
It's an organ uh, without a form, so it's basically a function. And one of the things that uh, it does is metabolize fluid in the body, distribute and manage. So the upper burner has this bellows of the lungs and the heart pump circulation. And we'll do a little CV12 right here, right over the stomach. And this is the middle burner. And this is a strong association with the earth element in the body, the stomach and spleen organs. And as I mentioned, the spleen organ is about transformation. Uh, and stomach prepares food for transformation. So we're pulling uh, this property in. These are general broad strokes right now. And then down here, just below the belly button, a couple of inches, is CV, Conception Vessel 6. And this helps to recharge the deep batteries. So this is an area, your um, Dantian, uh, this is the energy center in the body, the primal energy center in the body. And we're going to charge up these batteries and uh, waken up this lower burner, which is basically the pelvic bowl. And this has to do with elimination, among other things. So we've done all three burners from the front. Let's pull in stomach 21 on the right. Very helpful to kind of help. Um, we're going to do it on the left too. So um, I talked about the spleen and the liver and they kind of live next door to each other. One's on the right and the other's on the left. And they have, they have an interesting relationship. Sometimes they tango. Um, but we're using both of them to transform and move today. So to help clear out this area. And we're also working right here, right over the upper hara. So we're working on the ouch point, as Tom Tam calls it. And we did the CV12 and the CV6, which are upper and lower hara. We're also going to do stomach 25, either side of the navel. And these four points are a nice kind of wheel on the hara, on the abdomen itself. So stomach 25, CV12, stomach 25, CV6. We can go around in a circle. And the direction of elimination in the abdomen is up on the right side and down on the left. So you can do a little self-massage just like that. Two hands, one on top of the other. And lightly, you don't have to go deep. Just get the energy flow going in the natural direction. We're looking at drainage and elimination. So this is our ouch point. So you may have more or less comfort here, um, but uh, the area of interest. So moving on down to the legs and down here on the side of the knee, we often do stomach 36. Today we're going to do gallbladder 34. Um, so gallbladder is paired with liver. And we're interested in circulation today. So gallbladder 34, both sides. Gallbladder 34 is very close to stomach 36, so they're not too dissimilar. Gallbladder 34 is both sides. And then on the medial side of the knee, right close there at the same level, is spleen 9. So that's how we're going to use our, our spleen transformative. Let me turn my friend upside down here. <laughs> spleen 9. It's um, a major point for the spleen system right here. It's very helpful for the spleen organ. So we're uh, activating this point for to still send the message about transformation. And spleen 6 
inside of the leg just about a hand's width above the ankle, both sides. This point has such a strong connection with this area, the abdominal area, that we have to use this point. This is a big bang for your puck point, it's plane six. Uh, the Chinese name for it is Sang Yin Jiao, three yin crossing. So the yin, the three yin meridians of the leg all connect here. So you get a three free, this is a hat trick point. It's a good thing to know. And liver three on the foot, on the dorsal part of the foot, we always do this point. Good circulation in the body. Chi goes, everything moves along. Liver three. And as always, kidney one on the bottom of the feet. Standing in your bubbling spring, taking in all the goodness of the earth, and having a firm foundation. And let us just end by upper, middle, lower, stitching together everything into one beautiful brocade. Thank you.